Today's video from Shop Stuff. I'm taking a look at the ER900 series cash registers, in particular the discount button functions on the machine. Um, so in this video I'm using the 940 model, uh, but the process or the programming process is the same on the 920. So the 920 has got an identical keyboard to the 940. Um, the overall protocol for the programming will be the same on the 945 and the 925, but obviously you've got a different keyboard on there, so um, it will be slightly different. It would be really useful for you if you could find the manual and find the page with the percent one, percent five function key programs. Um, so this is the flowchart or the table of programming that I'm going to be following later in the uh, video. Basically, um, as standard on the 900 series, uh, when you first get the machine, the buttons are set to be open discounts that work off an individual line. So you can give a variable discount off a particular line of the sale. So you see I'm entering one pound into different PLUs and applying different percentage discounts um, to each. Uh, PLU line. What you cannot do if you subtotal and want to give a total discount off the total transaction you'll get a sequence error message and that's the same for both buttons. Um, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to reprogram one of the buttons to give a to be enabled to give a percentage discount off the um, the overall transaction. What you'll notice is is if you find this bit of the manual, there's lots of different settings you can do. So you can actually set the buttons to be an amount rather than a percentage. You can disable the button. You can make it work in manager mode only. And there's all sorts of different settings you can apply. So don't necessarily follow everything I do in this video. This is just a demonstration video to show you how the button could be set up to work. Um, to obviously your business will have certain uh, requirements that I may not cover in this video. Uh, what I've done is I've basically converted that chart there into um, an easy to follow flow chart for myself. So I'll show you how I've done it. So the P mode, so we're in the, all the programming's done in the P mode. And then each of the numbers here, so I've got 70 subtotal, and then each of the numbers at the top of this flow chart I've converted into a number here. So zero, the first zero is because I want to keep it as a percentage. I don't want the button to be inactive and I don't want it to be only active in the manager mode. The second number here, the two, is because I'm keeping the button as open. If I wanted it to be a preset, that value would be one. And I want to apply the discount to the whole sale rather than the individual items. So that's where that two is coming on. So you can follow the flow chart through and see see what I'm doing and then edit it so that it suits your your specific requirements. So once you know the numbers that you're putting in, it's really straightforward. Key round to PGM, seven zero, subtotal, and then the code I'm entering is the zero two, zero zero, zero zero. Then I hit my percent key, so I'm gonna use percent two, and then cash. I'm not going to do any other programming for now. Key back to the reg mode. £11 for some reason into PLU1. £9 into PLU2. Subtotal. Let's give a 50% discount using my percent two. So that's now allowed me to give a percentage discount off the whole transaction. So I'll have more videos showing you how to preset the discount button. So you can have it set to be a preset amount or a preset uh, discount rate, percentage rate, sorry. And I'll have another video explaining how you do that. But hopefully uh, this has been useful for you. Thanks for watching.